I would ask him how, um, what at what age did he learn how to drive, and how, like when did he decide I'm going to be a harness driver? I started driving. I was 18 years old, uh, but I was training uh, fast miles uh, by the time I was like 14. Uh, I would say I was in the barn with my dad. Uh, I w must have been like uh, nine or ten years old. Every summer, uh, I'd work all summer uh, with horses. So I've been uh, around horses for a long time. How was it growing up with your father, being a, a great horseman as he is? How was it growing up with him? Well, uh, you know, I, I always looked up to him. Uh, he's just... Uh, he amazes me. Uh, the way he works around horses, uh, I tell him he's like a horse whisperer. Uh, he does things with horses that just simply amazing. And I'm just lucky enough to uh, be his son. Just wondering how much of an influence Hervé had on his career and if he, when he was younger, did he watch a lot of his moves, his styles, and uh, does that play a big, big role in his career? I didn't have a chance to uh, really watch him uh, when I was younger. Uh, I went to visit at his farm in Englishtown, New Jersey a few times while I was uh, really young. Uh, but the older I got, I got to see a few replays of him driving uh, in his prime. And I always admired his way of driving a horse. Uh, he always kept some for the following week. So uh, I always looked up to him too. Well, uh, especially the Filion family, as of course, uh, uh, did he try to copy himself after his father or his uncle? Uh, they, they were both tremendous drivers. Uh, I would say a bit of both. Uh, I like to have my own style. Uh, I like to uh, adjust to every horse I drive. Uh, they're all different, so uh, I'm not one dim dimensional style of racing uh, driver. You know, I like to uh, try different styles and adapt to the horse. I call him Hervé. <laughs> yeah, I should ask him, does he want me to stop calling him Hervé? I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. Like I said, uh, uh, I'm real proud of being his nephew, and he, he's the world champion to me, so I don't mind at all. Specifically for Sylvain Filion, uh, you know, he, he had a couple of attempts coming to Ontario. He was uh, the kingpin of Quebec, and he came to Ontario, I remember, at one time, and it didn't really work out for him. Uh, back to Quebec and then returned to Ontario, and since then he's been a, been a top guy and uh, really able to show his true talents. So, I'd like to ask him, you know, what he, what he thinks the difference was for him second time around. Uh, I think better stock, you know, I've been driving a lot better horses than the first time I came around. And uh, probably maybe a more aggressive style this time around. Uh, more confidence in myself. And like I said, better horses to drive. Just how he is able to um keep an erratic horse uh, calm in the post parade. I, I've noticed that he has very, very good hands and, and I, I just find that uh, I, that would be the question is how he goes about uh, keeping a horse that is a little, little erratic to keep it calm. Uh, you know what, like I said before, uh, all the horses are different. Uh, you just got to try to adapt to it and uh, you got to try to listen to the horse, what he's trying to tell you. and. Um, I guess it's uh, with time, that will come with time, you know, uh, with experience and uh, as many drives I drove, uh, I just learned from it and uh, go from there. I just ask him uh, how he goes from driving pacers to trotters and being so patient with the trotter because he's one of the best, I think, for a trotter and it just takes a different mindset to drive pacers and trotters, which he does both very well. So I just ask him uh, what the difference, if he goes into a race, um, uh, maybe just how he goes into a race with a pacer or a trotter. Well, first of all, I gotta say, uh, I, I love to drive trotters because they're much more of a challenge. You gotta sometimes keep them together. And uh, sometimes they're very aggressive. So you gotta keep them calm. And I just love driving trotters. I seem to have a lot of success with them. And uh, hopefully it will continue. What makes him drive certain horses certain ways? Like what, um, what is it that, that gives him more confidence in one horse over another? 
or to take chance and like yeah well, you're given more confidence to take a different chance with a horse uh, usually uh, I see the race uh, the, the horse race the week before and I can tell which way he likes to be driven or if he drops in class I'll be uh, usually more aggressive with him uh, give him a better chance uh, it all depends it all depends with the horse they're all different and um, like I said the more you drive horses uh, with the experience, you can realize uh, sometimes horses need to be driven aggressively and some need to be uh, gr driven uh, conservatively. How do you get the most out of your horse? Like, obviously, like some people, like I say, you can get more out of them than others. And just how do you do it? What's your key? What's your secret? Like, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, you know, it's tough to say. Uh, I guess uh, some guys get along better with some horses and uh, that's all I can say, you know, you, you, sometimes you don't have the, the right feeling with the horse, so he always seems to be in a bad spot with that horse and other guys will always be in a good spot with that horse, so that's the way it goes. Is there any secret to trying to beat him? Uh, there is, but I won't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvan is a guy of bigger stature and he has tremendous success like this business has been has thought that smaller guys make better drivers they're lighter they're easier for horses to pull how he's been as successful as he has being a bigger guy uh, I think uh, just basically having better horses to drive you know <laughs> uh, I might look big but I'm not that heavy so uh, I just weigh uh, 160 pounds for now uh, I'm trying to keep it down it's a tough job uh, but I think uh, when you drive a good horse, he doesn't mind your way. How do you keep doing so well for so long? I uh, just try to keep uh, healthy. Uh, you know, uh, stay healthy, avoid accidents, and uh, keep concentrating on what I'm doing. That's it. After driving so many years, do you still get the same thrill each and every night as you did when you first started? Absolutely. That's why uh, I show up every night. Uh, I, live, I love driving horses and I hope I'll be able to do it for the longest time. I guess just uh, any tips on driving, I guess, because I'm always, I'm always open to that. So I just ask other drivers, that, you know, things that, any tips they could give anybody, you know, or me, myself. So just any advice. Uh, you got to be uh, persistent. It's not an easy game. Uh, there'll be a lot of ups and downs, and uh, you got just to uh, go through it and uh, follow the bumps. Uh, Sylvain Fillion, yeah. Uh, actually, he drove a colt that I trained briefly here last spring by the name of Steady Warrior, who was second in the Battle of Waterloo. And uh, just wondering uh, what his thoughts were on him. I love this colt. Uh, he got hurt late in the year, uh, but he, had, uh, he showed tremendous talent, and hopefully he'll come back this year. How do you keep cheering for the Montreal Canadiens? Well, they're the best. What can I say? How's, uh, how's the new daughter has changed his life and his wife, you know? Uh, it's been a drastic change in our lives. Uh, it's just been great so far. She'll be a year old uh, in a few days, and uh, we're just ecstatic. You know, it's, uh, it's been a joy, and uh, I'm just so proud to be a daddy. How does it really, really feel to be French uh, in Ontario <laughs> among so many, uh, uh, well, in, in, in a small minority of, of French people, I'd say, to see how another Frenchman feels? Uh, it's different, you know, it's different in Quebec. Uh, it's mostly French and here it's mostly English, obviously. Uh, but I don't mind it. Uh, I get along pretty much with everyone and uh, just uh, you got to integrate yourself and uh, Everything will go well. Maybe just ask him what he likes to prefer, uh, or where he likes to race better, Montreal or here. Probably Montreal because that's where he's from, or around there. I don't know exactly where he's from, but what's his favorite maybe track to race at? Uh, I like, well, you know what? My first love was Montreal, so I got to admit uh, I love Montreal. Um, my best tracks, I like, uh, I love Mohawk, uh, Baron Woodbine. Uh, you can come off the pace uh, a bit more in Mohawk, and I love the Meadowlands too. Who his favorite trainer is? Uh, I got many, uh, but uh, one that comes in mind, uh, I got Richard Morrow, 
uh, my dad, uh, I've got a bunch of trainers I used to drive in Montreal, uh, I love to work with uh, when I first started. Uh, you probably don't even know them, but uh, there's a Pierre La Charité, uh, a lot of French people that I still think about them. Uh, Robert Charon, uh, there's a lot of trainers. What's the most uh, memorable win? Uh, it's got to be with the Goliath Bama at the Middle Ends, uh, the Breeders' Crown. That was just amazing. Maybe ask uh, Sylvain if he's going to stick around here or if he's going to go like Scotty and go to the Meadowlands or something. No, I'll stick around here this time. Uh, I think I'm done uh, with my traveling. Uh, I got a daughter and uh, we're going to try to uh, stay uh, solid here.